Hello. Huh? Look. Oh. Hmm. Wow. Huh? Look. Ah. Oh. I'm Sally. And I'm Possum. Hello. Sally. Hi, Possum. Hi, everyone. Hello. It looks like you're having fun. Yeah. Could everyone see what Possum was doing with his new rope? It made a pattern. But what exactly were you doing, Possum? Before I tell you, can we play a game? Oh, yes. Right. You must do as I do. Exactly. Exactly the same, OK? Mm-hmm. Watch me. Do, do, do. Well? Uh, I don't think I can remember all of that, Possum. Give it a go. Come on. Uh, um... No, I can't remember it all, Possum. It's too hard. I've forgotten. You're right, it was hard, Sally. But do you remember when you were standing over there watching me with the rope? Could you copy that one? Oh, yes. That one I could do. All I have to do is follow the rope. I could do that. Yeah, that's right. But what exactly are you doing? Ah, well, I saw your new rope and I wanted to see how long it was. As I was laying it out on the ground... I saw it making some nice shapes. Lots of different shapes. And they looked so good. Oh, yes. This might sound silly, but I felt like I was taking the rope for a walk. <laughs> yes. I don't think it's silly at all, Possum. It's a wonderful thing that you've done here. In fact, a famous artist once said... When it comes to drawing lines, there are those who plan really well and others who just take the line for a walk and end up with the wonderful shapes that occur. That's very much what you've done here, Possum. Sally, do you like the shapes I've made here? Yes, I do like them. I think that one there, that's the one I like the most. Oh, and I like that one, and that one, and I like that one. And I like that one too. You've actually given me an idea. Why don't we go into the kitchen and get some paper and a pen and you can take the line for a walk in there. All right, let's go. the pen? I'll explain to you what we're going to do. Put your pen on the paper. Don't scribble on it though. Use your imagination to draw some lovely lines and then keep the pen on the paper. Don't lift it off and just take the line for a walk. Ready? Ready. You try.
OK, what's next? Oh, that looks great. Now comes the fun part. Pick a colour and colour in the shape that you've made. You colour in the whole thing. And then you pick lots of different colours and colour in all the other shapes, OK? OK. And those colours will make it look beautiful. Oh, great. colours. That looks great. Have a look at mine. Mine's a bit different. Mine's got lots of patterns through it. I've just drawn wavy lines and different things using a pen. Wow, it's beautiful. Yeah. Sally, are there other children who take the line for a walk? Oh yes, of course there are. This is a great way to draw a picture. Yeah. Would you like to watch some children taking a line for a walk and making different shapes? Shall we watch? Yeah, let's watch. Interesting. Yeah, it did. I loved seeing their ideas. Them taking the line for a walk and then colouring in the shapes. Yes, they picked some lovely colours, didn't they? Their drawings look beautiful. They did. But I've got an idea now. We can go and use the rope outside. Um, Possum, I don't think those crayons are big enough. Hmm. <gasps> I know, Sally. Quick, come with me. for this? Well, I'm thinking we can use things from the garden and the yard and use them to fill in the spaces. Oh, that's a brilliant idea. Hmm. <gasps> I know. We could use the leaves you raked up. Why not? Let's go. All right. What's next? Hmm. Oh, I know. I'll climb my tree so I can get a better view. Hmm. I know. More colour. Right. We need colourful things. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, Sally, have you got anything colourful in your fridge? Oh, yes. I've got some lovely yellow lemons. Great. I'll go get them. OK. Oh, ho, ho. Put them there. 
Sally, there's not enough. Don't worry, I've got plenty in my tree. I'll bring them out. Okay. You've got a lot of lemons there, Possum. Why do you have them? Well, just in case you run out, Sally. Lemons can be used for all sorts of things. Oh, all right. Well, let's put them into the shape. Great. That looks lovely. It's great. Hmm, what other colour can we use? <gasps> I know, I've got a red tomato in my fridge. I've got some too. All right, let's go. Cool. What's next? Right, I'm thinking carrots. OK. Great. <gasps> Apples. OK. Great. What's next? Some bananas. OK. What's next? Hmm. What else do you have in there? Uh, I've got some onions. <gasps> Me too. Great. What should we have next? Um, oh, I've got some brown onions. <gasps> Me too. Hmm, what's next? What should we put in this space? Oh, what have I got? What have I got? Oh, I've got some apricots. You do? OK. Oh, look at all those apricots. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's beautiful. It is beautiful. <gasps> Look. Oh, I know. We need to put something in there. Let me think what I've got. Oh, I know. I've got some lovely roses on the ground over there. Yeah, good idea. Isn't that lovely? It's beautiful. Hang on, I'm going to have a look at the top of my tree. Oh, look at all the different colours. It looks great. Well, it looks beautiful. It looks so good. We've made some fantastic art, Sally. It looks so good. Yes, art is a special way that people can use to communicate with each other. Yeah. Sally, I want to do it again. Well, we could do it again. I want to start all over again. Yes, we could. But before we do, our time is up. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye. Bye. Right, Sally, what I want to do is I'm going to move those over here. 